Well, this is a bit unexpected as Google just dropped a fun little update for us with Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2. As a quick reminder, this is a preview build for what is meant to be the last Android 15 stable update that should be out sometime in March before we get our hands on Android 16. That said, we just finished installing it on our Pixel, so without wasting any more time, let's get into everything new. And of course, if you want to stay up to date with all things Google and Android, consider subscribing to the 9to5Google YouTube channel because we have a lot more content like this coming your way. First feature we picked up on is notification cooldown. I know, I know, I feel like we talked about this a thousand times but never actually saw the feature, but it was included in an Android 15 beta build a long time ago, but didn't make it to stable for some reason. Since then, it's reappeared in Android 16 Developer Preview 1, and now we have it in Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2, so maybe we're getting it a bit earlier than expected. For those who don't know, notification cooldown is a feature that minimizes distractions and noises from excessive notifications within a short time frame. When enabled, the notification volume will progressively decrease for each consecutive notification received in a two minute window. To access this feature, you can go into settings, notifications, and then under the general tab, you can select the option where you're brought to a splash screen, giving you some extra details and a toggle to turn it on and off. Nothing crazy, but I do hope it actually makes its way to the final Android 15 update instead of pushing it off to Android 16. Another interesting item to note here is that it appears themed icons are now out of beta, or at the very least have lost the beta tag, which is great I suppose as it's been in beta all the way since Android 12, but I'm not really sure what to make of this right now since there aren't any actual functional changes, at least from what we can tell. A lot of big apps like Uber and BBC Sports for example still have normal icons icons and just my humble opinion, but I don't consider themed icons to be out of beta when there isn't some kind of way to theme all of them. And listen, I don't know Google, all I'm saying is this might be an interesting way to show people how AI can resolve this issue, just a thought. And for the last notable change, there is a new animation in the app drawer where the search bar kind of bubbles in from the sides. I love small touches like this in Pixel UI as it's good attention to detail that shows people are paying attention to this kind of stuff. As for a more minor addition for the Pixel 9 devices, there's a new toggle in the developer options called boot with 16 kilobyte page size. A page size refers to how memory is managed by a CPU's memory management unit, or effectively has to do with the efficiency of memory management in the Android operating system. Previously, Android used a four kilobyte page size, and now we have a developer option for a 16 kilobyte size, giving us four times the amount of memory to work with. This should, in theory, give you lower app launch times, about 3.16 times percent faster on average, faster camera launch times, about 4.56% faster on average, improved boot times, about 0.8 seconds faster on average, and improved performance in general application. And I almost forgot, the QPR2 Beta 2 update also added the Material U overhaul to the Wi-Fi sharing menu that was added in Android 16 Developer Preview 1, which is just a nice touch. It also included the December security patch, so you'll be covered with the latest from Google, and of course a handful of bug fixes. Most notable is that they fixed an issue that prevented the 80% charging optimization feature from being activated. They also fixed an issue for Pixel Fold users that caused the device to stop responding while unfolded. A pretty big bug if you ask me. And that my friends is everything new with Android 15 QPR2 Beta 2. It's a relatively small update and nothing crazy for now, but I wanted to ask you guys now. What do you think of the QPR2 update so far? And more importantly, is there anything we might have missed? Leave a comment and let us know, but in the meantime, I'm getting out of here. Before I do, huge shout out to our channel members on screen right now. We greatly appreciate you guys as Damien and I work super hard to make the best Android content on the platform. And don't forget to grab the December wallpaper pack if you haven't already. Until next time, this has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.